this was not our original schedule. Originally, we had planned to perform this work when the students were away for the summer. Um, we would planned this job for two years now. Our industry and in transportation is just like a lot of other industries. We've been dealing with a lot of material, material procurement delays. Materials that we could readily get last spring, we could get them within a week. We started seeing delays of nine to 15 weeks last fall. This spring, we started to see delays up to nine months for those same materials. And then currently, some of these materials we're looking at 12 months to get the materials. So uh, we had to look at whether we wanted to start this job this year or push it out to another year in 2025. We really didn't want to do that, but we also didn't want to impact Penn State football traffic so we decided, uh, talking to uh, the other entities that are involved here, that we were going to start the first week of school. And the goal is, is to have the road closures open back up by September 6th. The rest of the work that will go on through the remainder of the year will be done with daylight lane closures. So we'll just have single lane closures. Um, there won't be any road closures per se. Uh, we could have some flagging uh, for one direction and we could have some night work the rest of the year too. Um, but as of now, if we uh, do what we have planned, we'll be able to keep the project on schedule to complete the project by the end of 2024.